Hi, welcome to the tutorial on 3D objects in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Now, if we go to Start on All Programs, Adobe Master Collection, and then Adobe Photoshop CS5. Now, if we make a new document, what we're going to do is just have a look at the 3D options. So we can create 3D elements. Um, there's a set of 3D shapes that's already in there. So, for instance, if you want to create a cube, if you go to 3D and cube, you will get a cube shape. We'll get a cube shape in your document. Now we can rotate and move the shape around using the 3D object rotate, roll, pan, slide, and scale tools, which are all in here. And there's also the ro 3D rotate, roll, pan, walk, and zoom camera tools. Okay, so that's just how the image is, is viewed. So if we just click using the uh, rotate tool, we can move a cube as we would like to. The other thing we can do, we can uh, go to the 3D object scale tool, uh, click and pull down so that it actually scales the object in our window. Um, once, you load, once we load a 3D object into Photoshop, we'll get a 3D palette that comes up. Now this is where we can choose the different elements of the object. Okay, so if you can see here, you've got scene got left right okay we can take these off bottom so they're not visible and what we can also do is click on the item below and that will give you a color reference just here as to which one it is so the right one the green element is the front element here so if we click on this little icon here to the side go to load texture what we can do is click on an image and actually load that to our 3D object. Let's try it again. Load texture, open. It will tell us that it's already in there. That's fine. Okay, and then we need to find the top one. Now, obviously, I've just used an image just to show you how quickly and how easily this is done. But obviously, you could use any sort of image whatsoever. It could be a pattern, a texture, a gradient, or a, a composite image potentially. Obviously, once you've done that, there's a selection of different controls that you've got in the 3D um, dialog box. So you've got elements like gloss, reflection, illumination, shine. We're not gonna look at those too much because it's quite a lot to sort of look at in a short space of time here. Uh, but you've also got elements up here so you can look at the shadows, how intense the shadows are. Um, you've got elements here where we can look at the whole scene, you can look at the meshes that's applied, materials, which is a pretty similar dialog box to the um, whole scene dialog box. And then we've got light, so we can cast light onto our particular shape. Again, it's one of those where you're just going to have to have a real good play about with it and see what does what to sort of find out how you could or would use this. Um, but it's a really powerful tool. And what we can also do with the 3D tool is if we create a circle, I'm just going to pop it in the middle and get rid of the cube. Just take the eye off the cube so we can't see it. Okay, and then we can go to 3D and repose, and then layer mass. Yes, we're going to do that. And then we can actually create our own shape. Okay, there's a large selection of different shapes and things that you can create in here. Um, and you've got such an amount of different elements that you can edit, it'd be really impossible to go through them uh, in this quick tutorial. But like I keep saying, just have a good play about and you'll get used to how these things work. So again, what we can do here is we can load a texture to them. So let's load a few textures, let's have a bit of fun. We'll try this one now. You can see how this is starting to take shape. Let's 
Let's just do this last bit. Yeah. Okay. And as we move that 3D element around, we can see quite quickly how that works. Now that's a very quick look at some quite powerful 3D tools in Photoshop. Um, like I said, we've not got really enough time to go into any of them anymore in depth, but have a good play about, see what you find, and I'm sure before long you'll get to grips with it. Thanks a lot for listening.